This is an Arduino-based FM radio. In today's video, I will show you how I made it and what I learned in the making process. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. Now let's get started. I have been watching this module for a long time. The RDA 5807M is the new generation of single chip broadcast FM stereo radio tuner. It supports model interface and requires the least external component. The RDA 5807M series has a powerful low intermediate frequency digital audio processor, which makes it have optimum sound quality with varying reception conditions. Its support frequency range is from 50 MHz to 115 MHz. And fortunately, it only costs less than $1 for each. I just can't find any reasons to not try it, right? So, the next step is to figure out the schematics. After long and concentrated research of the schematics scattered all over the internet, I finally figured out my schematics. I will share my schematics on GitHub, so feel free to play with them. And if you have any thoughts, please let me hear them. I will be willing to learn and improve the circuit. I will put a link in the video description. Next, turn the schematics into the PCB design. This step took me a lot of time because I did all the routing by hand. And in some places, I almost did it pixel by pixel. Since I couldn't find a ready-to-use symbol and footprint for the RDA 5807M, so I created my own, and it looks not that bad. After all the tuning, I am finally satisfied with the tracing. Then I just upload my Gerbil file to the JLC PCB website, then they will take care of the rest. After a few days, the PCB is arrived, and as always, JLC PCB is doing a great job. The PCB with good fingers makes it look gorgeous. start the fun soldering process. First, I started with the surface mount components. The first one is the important one, the radio tuner module. After preheating, I squeeze a proper amount of paste solder, mount the module, and soldered it with the heat gun. However, the solder is a little inadequate, so I use solder iron to add more solder, and now it looks pretty nice. Next is the 
IC chip, which enables the communication between the USB of your computer and the Arduino using the UART protocol. This time, the heat gun just worked fine. After that, I gave it a special treatment with a soldering iron to make the solder evenly distributed and look shiny and prettier. The third one is the IC chip PAM8403. It is an audio amplifier that I have used in my other projects. So I am familiar with how it works and what the peripheral components it needs. Here it will boost the audio signal and drive the speaker. Next, it is not a surface mount component. Since it is a lower component, so I will solder it at this point. It is a USB receptacle. Make sure it has enough solder so all the pins are perfectly soldered to the PCB. Now the USB Type-C receptacle is done. Okay, I don't want to make this video too long, so let's speed up.
was quite a lot of soldering, right? Now we need to prepare an AT Mega 328 chip, which has already burned a bootloader to it. So it can be used and programmed as an Arduino board. Now let's do some easy tests to confirm if the RGB LED is working. Nice! The so RGB LED is blinking as programmed. So we can tell the bootloader is working and the Arduino chip and Arduino circuit are working. And of course, the CH330C is working as well. So I can load the program successfully in the first place. Next, let's load the FM radio program. And it's working! And here, it is a bug I found in my schematics, and this is a quick fix. Well, I guess that's all for today's video. If you want me to make a video to explain the circuit and the program, please leave a comment. If there are enough requests, I will make a video on it. If you are interested in what I am doing on my channel, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to click the bell button so you won't miss any future updates. See you next time! Thank you.